Henry's lucky day. The winter holidays were coming and a thick blanket of snow covered the island of Sodor. Snow just blocked the lines and the tracks were very slippery. The engines felt frozen from their funnels to their footplate. But Henry puffed happily through the snowy countryside. None of his lines were blocked. Today, Chuff Thomas. You must have lucky trucks. Henry saw that none of the other engines were back. Maybe you're right. Maybe I do have lucky trucks, he puffed. That night, when the engines were all asleep, Henry thought how pleased he was to have lucky trucks. Now I will always be on time, puffed Henry. And that means I can be a really useful engine. But the next morning, when Henry went to the yard, his lucky trucks weren't there. Oh no, chuffed Henry. Where are my lucky trucks? Edward took them, puffed Thomas. He needed to take coal to the villages. Then Sir Topham had arrived at the yard. Henry, I've got a very important special for you said Sir Topham Hatt. A delivery of presents has arrived at the airport. You must collect them and take them to the children in the villages. Henry walked to the airport. But soon, he was in trouble. Gordon's Hill was very icy. Every time Henry tried to puff up the hill, he slid back down again. lucky trucks back, Henry Huff. I can't make my deliveries without them. Must find Edward. Must find Edward, trust Henry. Then, a snowslide came down and blocked Henry's way. If I had my lucky trucks, this would never have happened. Henry puffed up the line. He saw pipes across the track. They were blocking his way. I thought you were collecting presents, chuffed Molly. You're supposed to be at the airport, snorted James. Edward has my lucky trucks, whistled Henry. I must find him. Don't worry, called Rocky. I'll have the line cleared in no time. Henry waited sadly as Rocky lifted the pipes from the tracks. Then he chucked on to find Edward and his lucky trucks. But every way that Henry chucked, there were more delays. Sorry, puffed Thomas. It has taken me a long time to clear this line. It's not your fault, Henry wished. I need to find Edward and my lucky trucks. And Henry puffed sadly away. Henry couldn't find Edward anywhere. I'll never see my lucky trucks again, he sighed. But when he popped into the frosty forest, there was Edward with Henry's lucky trucks. I found you, Henry chuffed excitedly. But he popped too quickly. His wheels slid on the icy tracks. And he biffed right into his lucky trucks. Oh, no! I've broken my lucky trucks, groaned Henry. Henry didn't know what to do. I'm not going anywhere without my lucky trucks, huffed Henry. But they're broken, chuffed Edward. 
And if you don't collect the presents soon, the children won't have anything to open in the morning. Henry thought about how sad the children would be. I have to get to the airport somehow, puffed Henry, even without my lucky trucks. So Henry chuffed away to the airport. The tracks were clear now, and the more Henry thought about the children, the less he thought about his lucky trucks. Henry puffed up Gordon's hill. The track was very icy. His wheels started to spin, but Henry puffed harder and harder. He inched his way over the top of the hill. Soon, Henry arrived at the airport. He collected the presents. And puffed across the island, making his deliveries. Now, Henry didn't think about his lucky trucks once. All he could think about was delivering the presents on time. Children were waiting at the station. Good old Henry, they cheered. Henry felt very proud. And he steamed along the track. Only one more delivery, puffed Henry. With or without his lucky trucks, Henry knew he mustn't let the children down. I've delivered all the presents, chuffed Henry happily. And without my lucky trucks, Maybe the trucks weren't so lucky after all. But when Henry saw the children's smiling faces, he knew he was still the luckiest engine.